Hello everyone and welcome to my uh, video tutorial on FPS Creator. Um, first off what I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you how to um, just make a basic level um, probably a way pretty much your first level would be something like, like this or if you just want to make a level in about five minutes you can use this. Unfortunately my camera won't let me show you segments but and these the whole panel to the left, but I can't show you this. What I've done is I've taken a bunker from the seg from the uh preferables thing and I've placed it in the middle here. Now I've taken a segment from the segments thing. I'm just building around pretty much. I'm just gonna make a big square here. Kind of messed up back there. Just gonna connect it together right like that. Now what I'm going to do is see how I've got this little extra square here um, with nothing there. It kind of looks a little odd. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to Entities. I'm going to take this door here. It's a big metal door. I'm just going to place a few of them on the wall. To kind of make it look like that whole square room there isn't just there out of coincidence. Kind of make it more look more realistic. I'm pressing R to rotate it around. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go to Entities again. I'm going to take, I'm going to go to Sci-Fi section, take a robot, uh, the AI unarmed. Just a second here. Sorry if you can hear me breathing. Oh, sorry about that. I made this video before I put audio in. And the, I'm actually taking in, from entities a gun and ammo. And I'm placing ammo all around it and a gun. Which I uh, purchased off the store. Now what I believe I'm doing is putting this start thing. That's exactly where I want the player to start. Now what I'm going to do is take a checkpoint and put it right he over here. So that when the player walks there, they'll automatically have a checkpoint for if they die. As well as over here, since it goes around in a big circle. Now I'm going to find the AI unarmed, like I was saying a second ago. take him and put him right here and right now what I want to do is really make the AI um, the object where the player has to kill it to be able to win the game so I'm going to left click on it and it'll take me into this little zoom mode here and now on the left side in the panel sorry you can't see it um, there's an object an option that says is um, objective and er, and then what you have to do is that where it says is objective it'll say zero change it to one and then that will make it where it's the objective you can do this as well with any character and you can just keep changing them their uh, is objective to like two or something and it'll make it where the guy your player has to kill more than one person to or more than one object to be able to win the level okay so now I'm done with that and I believe I am now going to test my game. Okay, I'm here in the game now. Um, I skipped the loading time because it takes forever. Now I'm picking up all the same uh, and the two guns I like, my favorite ones. Let's go through this door here. I'm going to press shift to run. can already hear the robot. He made some weird squeaky noise. And right now I already see a glitch. So note to self, you got to put that door um, into the wall. And same as over here, this door. Probably this other door too. Yep, this other door too needs to put into the wall. Okay, now I'm going to go over here to where my, I put my robot. And there he is. And I'm going to just kill him. Basically it takes a couple hits to kill him. It'll take more with other guns that come with it. Um, but 
in my next tutorial, I'll show you how to make it where it'll take like one hit if you want. Thank you.